Hello, my name is uh, Derek Kim Morrison. I'm a sales manager with Tissue Canada. So I'd like to demonstrate to you how we can connect you via USB cable uh, from my computer to the copier behind me. Uh, it could be this copier, which is a desktop model, or it could be one of Toshiba's four model 11 by 17 copiers. We can connect via USB cable. Um, and I'm going to show how we do that. I'm going to share a screen. We'll start right away. I just want to mention before you actually make the connection, you might want to think about how long that cable is going to be. Uh, you get a standard six foot cable, which may or may not be long enough, or you can spend up to 20 to $30 and get a 15 foot cable, which will give you all kinds of room. So what we're looking at now is the control panel of a Windows 10 computer. We're gonna look at uh, devices and printers. And we have uh, to several, two Toshiba print drivers available. Uh, when your copier printer is connected as a USB printer, you have both the Toshiba Universal 2 print driver and the generic HP BP print driver available. Here you can see I connected to the Universal 2 driver and I'm connected as a USB port. If I was to print a test page, it would pop out in about eight seconds uh, from, the, from the copier. Here I'm connected to the generic HBB print driver. And again, you can see the port is connected via USB. With, with both print drivers, the uh, embedded web browser is not available. You have to use either your finger on the control panel or a stylus to be able to configure the copier. Uh, for scanning, uh, Windows 10 offers uh, Windows uh, fax, and cap, fax and scan, fax and scan. But unfortunately, this is fairly old software that um, cannot scan a PDF. So that's a very uh, common request that people like, customers like to have. Fortunately, there's a workaround to that. Uh, it's, it's a free piece of software from Microsoft that you can download called micro, uh, Windows Scan. We'll have a look at that now. So if I just go to my win, uh, any uh, web browser and type in the Windows Scan, Press enter. We'll click quickly go to the um, uh, the Microsoft site and we can Microsoft Store and get Windows Scan. So this is the official Windows uh, Microsoft site, and here it is right here. You can download Windows Scan for free. It's a fairly simple program to install and not very large. It's not hard to do. Right, once we install Windows Scan, we get a very different looking screen. Uh, this one here called, it, it's the Windows Scan app we just downloaded. In this case, we're connected to the Toshiba HBP print, host-based printer uh, driver, but we could be also connected to the Universal 2 driver. I want to see that we can choose to, scan from the copier's document feeder. In this case, we have a very nice 92-page uh, a minute document feeder on the copier. We can scan finally in PDF, as well as JPEG, PNG, PNG TIFF, Bitmap, OpenX, XPS, and others. We can scan in color. Uh, we can scan at different resolutions. We can scan on both sides of the page if we want. We can select what uh, paper size we're gonna scan in. And um, importantly, we can choose which scan direction, which folder we want to scan to. Uh, in this case, I've, I, I choose, I could scan directly to the uh, copiers, my, sorry, my local computer's hard drive if I want. Uh, but in this case, I'm, I'm gonna select scan to a uh, Toshiba uh, Microsoft 365 OneDrive location uh, in the cloud. So I have a piece of, uh, I'm gonna put a piece of paper in the document feeder and press scan. There it goes and that document's uh, been sent. 
So here I am now looking at my Microsoft 365 account in the cloud. I'm going to go to OneDrive for Business. And we'll see a folder came in called uh, scan. It's a Windows test page that I just scanned in. I want you to notice that I can share this uh, immediately if I want to. And send it to someone's email address. Uh, there I am right there. And put a message. And send it. Uh, also, I want to, to see that if I go back to that folder, I can um, rename it. Okay. And I can, there's the Friday, and I can do uh, all kinds of things to it. Um, move it to somewhere, copy it, whatever, rename it. And I can use Automate to do even more advanced stuff. So we have all the full power of Microsoft 365 to use here uh, via a USB scan from the copier. Um, and finally, I wanna go back to OneDrive. And I want you to note that there's a feature here called Sync and what that does, when you click this, it'll create a folder on your local computer that you can scan directly into. And that's how I, uh, perform this task of scanning from this copier via USB cable into Microsoft 365 very quickly. I wanna mention that, however, you could scan to uh, your local computer if you want. For example, I created an icon on my desktop called uh, Toshiba Scan, which will quickly to take me to a bunch of scans I already created. I want to mention that the Windows Scan is a Windows 10 only feature. Uh, if you have Windows 7 that's not available, you have, can only scan the USB drive to a port on the side of the copier. And also, if you have an Apple computer, uh, this is, uh, app is not available for Apple. It's a Windows only feature. So as you can see, this is my contact information. Uh, any questions, I'm happy to help. Um, but what we've seen is a demonstration that we can scan from uh, using a USB cable uh, to uh, any Toshiba desktop or floor model photocopier. Um, and we can connect to advanced functions like uh, Microsoft 365 in a quick and efficient manner. I hope you found this video informative and we'll see you again in the next video. Uh, thank you and bye.